Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the counterfeits on eBay and what to look for when you are purchasing a card. Now, first of all, if someone is shopping an image, you can use a website called 10i. Uh, just go on Google search T-I-N-E-Y-E -E, and you can put in the image and then it will pull up results of similar images. If someone's not, you know, someone's selling an expensive card and they're not taking pictures of the card themselves, but they're using someone else's images. First of all, even if they had the card, that's not good because you don't actually know what the condition of the card you're buying is because it cannot be exactly the same as someone else's card, right? So if they're using someone else's images, then that's not the card you're buying. Secondly, very suspect, very, very suspect when people use other people's images. That to me, 99% of the time tells me they don't own the card. I mean, if they are able to use eBay, they have the internet. If they have the internet, I'm sure in today's, they can afford it, especially if they have a card like a Power 9 and they say that they cannot afford it. And I'll get to this about MTG Finance. One of my biggest pet peeves about MTG Finance is people saying, I own a thousand Lions Eye Diamonds. And they will go on a Facebook chat, and you know, I'm talking about Craig here, for two hours and never show a single Lions Eye Diamond. Like, dude, dude, like you can't afford better camera equipment, you can't afford better video equipment, like you can't phone in your iPhone. I don't know what your phone is, but it's, I mean, come on now, like iPhone, my iPhone film is in 4K, like this video is not in 4K, but it's in 10, you know, 1060, and you can probably film in that too, or you know, 720, it doesn't really, 1020, I don't really care. But if they are not, if they don't take the time to take a picture of the card or scan the card, it probably means they don't own the card. You can use TinEye to see if that picture has been used anywhere else. If it's been used anywhere else, it probably is a scam. Secondly, in the very small print, read every single line. In the very small print of a lot of eBay auctions right now, they are saying that they are proxies. And it's such a small print, it's hidden just random places, and they're getting really good at doing this, and saying, oh, you're bidding on a proxy, no refunds necessary or allowed. That is the biggest thing. I would control F, type in proxy, type in refund, and see where that leads you because you might be surprised. I've heard many stories where a person is bidding on what they expect is a real card because if it looks damaged, it's you know a good price, it's a reasonable price, and then it turns out on the listing it says this is a high quality proxy. The proxies scan perfectly. They scan very well at the levels that eBay, most people would post pictures on eBay. So unless you're looking at 360 DPI or better, you're not gonna get a very, uh, you're not gonna be like, oh, this is a counterfeit. The counterfeits scan incredibly well. They look very good on video. They look good double sleeved, especially if they're scanning a card and it's double sleeved. That's not something you naturally do. That must indicate something is wrong with the card. Normally it's a counterfeit. So be very careful on eBay. Those are my tips. Use 10 to see if the picture is already online somewhere or if it's someone else's picture. That's a very, very, that's a red flag. I would never buy it if 10 came up and it was someone else's auction, right? Because it cannot possibly be the same picture. Also use, you know, use um, common sense. Just use common sense. If the deal is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. You have to look at a scan. If there's no scan, you cannot buy. Simple as that. Like, if the person who has a Power 9 card cannot afford a high power resolution scanner, they really shouldn't be selling that card. Or they really don't own it. It is so unlikely that a thousand dollar card is owned by someone who doesn't have a smartphone that can take a good resolution of that card or evidence they own the card. And lastly, Control F for proxy. Control F for you know proxy like. Ver, uh, words because they it's such tiny print just in the middle of nowhere and it's like okay cool like you know you wasted my time and I wasted like you what are you doing so those are my tips to how not to be scammed on eBay bye guys